Huh? Can you give me like a prompt? Uh, yeah. This is Robert. I'm with Occupy DC Media, and I am here with. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Tess. Tess? Yeah. I'm a live streamer, amongst other things. Um, How long have you been with Occupy? Well, it was, it's sort of uh, hard to say that there was like a, um, a day one for me. I guess the first day that I was, I used to, I used to hang out in the park pre-Occupy. It was where I'd go every day after work to like do my crossword puzzle and have a cigarette before getting on the subway. So it was my park. And then... Um, so everybody invaded your park. And then my park became occupied. Um, but before that, before, before like September 17th, mostly the park was filled with pigeons and skateboarding kids. And within like 10 minutes of being at the park that first Monday, I guess so September 17th is a Saturday. So September 19th, which happens to be my birthday, I was at, I was there and um, within 10 minutes I was having like an interesting conversation with a stranger and that just sort of kept happening that those first two weeks and I was like, you know what, this is like so much more worthwhile than those skateboarding kids. Um, and feels like way more enriching and fulfilling. Um, and I, I was already feeling very frustrated with the state of things in our country, and I felt like dialogue was like a really important place to start. And I felt like it was a great, it was just awesome to have a space where people were openly dialoguing about whatever. Um, and then I started getting like heavily involved mid to early October um, and very regularly from end of October on and it's just been like it, Occupy has fully occupied my life um, and so you were there on day one I was there day three oh, okay. day three I was going to say, because you know Flux Rostrum, right? Yes. Flux keeps telling me, yeah, I was the first first live streamer down there. I mean, I, w I was yeah. definitely not. I didn't start streaming until end of October. And live stream just so happened to be like, it was kind of my entree because... I sort of like started watching the live stream and started talking on chat and started getting to know the streamers yeah. virtually and then I would come to the park and eventually like we would sort of connect and and then soon enough I was behind the camera. So the live streamers are definitely interesting people. We are we're an interesting bunch. It's <laughs> it's definitely I've def definitely like learned a lot from like my skill set has expanded enormously. So were you at the Occupy Congress? I was, yeah. I so was you there. were at the teaching? Yeah, I was there. Oh, so yeah. you remember me. Yes. Okay. I do. <laughs> um, that, yeah, was, we met, that was a lot of fun. It was, that was awesome. I mean, that was like one of, that was definitely has been, was a highlight. Of so you guys, <laughs> you guys should get one of those live stream teachings together and we'll come up here. Totally. Yeah. Totally. That would be. I mean, we just, I mean, just generally, we need, I think, like, I don't think that we, like, anticipated Occupy Congress quite well enough. I don't think it was, like, coordinated as well as it maybe could have been. Um, but I, just, I definitely think, like, from here, we should sort of start expanding to, like, regional, sort of. Absolutely. And, and, and start collecting on that basis. Because it's, it's one, the one nice, I mean... I had sort of reservations about Occupy Congress. I it felt like a sort of it felt a little too like I mean autonomous in the sense of it wasn't necessarily a collective like like all the general assemblies consensed upon it or anything like that. Well, maybe what we should do is get like an Occupy Congress workshop 
and work on it over like a three or four month period. Totally. And do it. Totally. So I then, mean, I think that like that so definitely everybody has as, input. as as like spring progresses and as we see how that how things unfold over the course of the spring, like we'll be able to have a better sense of like what the next year is going to hold. Yeah. Um, it's. I mean, it's. It, it's like the fact of the matter is that it was so. It's like four months in, yeah. and people were like still setting up occupations practically. And, uh, and like I think we have. To, it's it's important to like keep in mind the long the long term of this all that like we're in it for for a while. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So Thanks. yeah. Thank you, Tess. Thank you. Are you, what's, are you?